Yeah, I mean, I was, I was shocked. You know, it, it was kind of an emotional, you know, tough thing to swallow at first, but, you know, sleep on it a little bit and, you know, realize that it's a good situation and, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for me, you know, and to be in an organization that's going to give me a good chance. Obviously, the Diamondbacks uh, have a lot of pitchers, a lot of veteran pitchers. Um, looking at the, the relative youth is always on the athletics roster. Do you feel like that gives you a better chance to maybe make the rotation out of spring training and get some more innings on the major league level? Uh, yeah, you know, but at the same time, i kind of been thinking about, you know, that same question a lot, and it's it's something that I was thinking, you know, I was going to, I was, you know, setting my goal up to break camp with, you know, whatever team, so now it's just, you know, same job, different place, just, you know, the same goals and the same competition level, and, you know, I want to earn the spot no matter where I'm at. When you take a look at uh, the rotation for the A's, uh, where do you think you, you fit in at this point? I mean, is it tough to tell because you haven't seen those guys pitching in the National League? Yeah, you know, definitely tough to tell. And, you know, when I get out there and meet, a guy, meet you know, the guys, I know Gio's been, you know, had a couple good years and, you know, a lot of young guys. And then, you know, they got some veterans, too, that are going to, you know, show me the ropes and, you know, just kind of staple down the rotation. When you take a look at the guys that they developed uh, from uh, the Mulder, Hudson, Zito to uh, Harden and now to some of these other guys. Brett Anderson's one of those young arms they really like. Um, they've developed pitchers into quality major league or Cy Young Award type major league pitchers. Does that give you even more confidence knowing, hey, these guys know what to do with young arms? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That uh, goes back to the opportunity, you know, just having a chance to be with somebody that really is hands on and, you know, gives you a, a chance to, you know, develop and blossom. And, you know, and it's cool because. It's an opportunity every year, and you know, like you said, all the names are pretty, pretty impressive names. If you know Dan, you throw Dan Heron in there. It's tons of guys that you know. It's a great situation. When you take a look at the division now, I mean, you're going to be going up against some of the best lineups in baseball. The Angels get Pujols and Wilson. Uh, the the Rangers have made back-to-back -back World Series. As a young guy that looks to be facing those lineups, I mean, you're going to be testing yourself against the best. What's that opportunity like and that challenge for you? Yeah, I mean, it's. You know, you're going to really see what you're made of early and often. I mean, you're going to take your bumps and bruises, but you're going to have a chance to really shine in that division and, you know, open some eyes for, you know, come four or five years down the road when, you know, you're facing those guys again and, you know, they know who you are. As far as uh, the Dodgers game, you know, uh, getting that chance and that opportunity and being successful on that level, how much does it help knowing that you've already gone against those major leaguers in an MLB game? and how much confidence does that give you going forward? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely good to get, you know, a, a start like that under your belt, you know, in a in a September call-up, even if it, you know, that's what it was. It, it's definitely, a, you know, something that you can take in, put forth to the next, you know, that's my last start, so that's what I look forward to, you know, this coming season and build off of that and just try to, you know, dig from there, you know, coming into another start and, you know, try to relax a little bit.